ClickUp versus Jira for project management. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm comparing ClickUp with Jira and we'll figure out that which one of these platform is better than the other and we will be comparing their pricing and their different features as well. So let's get started. Now before I show you the different features that we get on ClickUp and on Jira, let's compare their pricing first and figure out that which one is cheaper than the other. So this is the pricing for ClickUp. You can see right here that uh, the ClickUp has a free plan which is free forever and it allows you 100 MB storage, unlimited tasks, unlimited members, two-factor authentication, collaborative documents, email in ClickUp. Then there is unlimited plan which is best for small business team and it is $5 per member per month. Then we have the business plan which is is nine dollars and then business plus plan is nineteen dollars and enterprise is the plan that you actually customize for yourself so when we look at the pricing for clickup you can see that it is pretty cheap and when we talk about the features you get a lot of cool features for example unlimited storage and unlimited task that's the basic feature that we look for in a project management software and ClickUp actually is providing that in the free plan so this is the pricing for ClickUp now let's go to the pricing for Jira and we'll see that how these platforms actually differ so you can see right here that Jira also gives you a free plan plan uh, that is actually you know a similarity between these two platforms that both of these platforms give you a free plan which is i think amazing and then there is a standard plan which is 7.50 dollars and then there is a premium plan which is 14.50 dollars and then enterprise which is going to be customized so you can see right here that the in this free plan you actually have always free for 10 users so that's pretty good and then when we talk about the standard plan it is seven dollars per user and then there is a premium so when we talk about the features you can see user limit 10 users twenty thousand users twenty thousand backlog site limit automation roadmaps dependency management and capacity planning so you're getting all of these features in on jira so as we compare jira to clickup uh well the first plan for clickup is five dollars and this one is seven dollars and the premium plan is actually just 14 and on clickup it is the 19 dollar so both of these platforms are very very cheap to use and the features they are offering are pretty good in this pricing so now we know the pricing let's jump to the actual management softwares and let's check out how this platform actually works so right now i am at the dashboard for clickup and the dashboard for clickup looks like this and the dashboard for your jira workspace looks like this so you can see that on clickup you actually have your customized color that i have actually you know chosen so if i want to you know change it i can actually do that so when we see see right here pretty easy to use if you want to create a new task you just simply click on this create task icon and you can actually you know create a new task right here what you have to do is just give your task a name maybe task number seven so if i want to add the due date i can just simply add it right here so what i have to do is just simply click on save again my you will see that my task has been added right here if i want to create a task you will see the option right here click on task and you will be able to add a new task to your existing list super easy what you have to do is add a assignee if you already have an assignee you can just you know cross them as well you add the description for your task task name right here for example task number eight uh, description will be added right here there you go if i want to attach any document you can actually add subtask and then add different documents i can actually browse and add the link to my ClickUp and then I will just simply click on create a task so the task will be created in any list that I will select so I will just simply click on create task and you can see 
this task has been created and you will see the board view right here if i want to check out the list view i will simply click right here then there is a calendar available as well so let's jump to jira now and let me show you how you create a task on jira so this is what jira looks like your project pages add shortcut project settings this is one of the projects that i have already created this is the board for my that project to do list i will just simply click on create issue and create issue means creating a task of course and and I will just simply add what I need to add to my Jira. For example, I need to add make a video and I can just simply, you know, go ahead and manage the issue type. So if I want to create a task on Jira, you can see that this is how we create a task here. So the overview of ClickUp and Jira, you can see right here that when I'm going to create a task on Jira, for example, this is the task that I want to create. Let's give it a name task one. So this will be the title for my uh, task. If I want to lock it, make it private for myself, I can do that as well. So description fields, you can see that there is a summary option where I can actually, you know, go ahead and add a summary for my task add a summary for the task or you know add different information and i can then add description as well so you will see the option of description right here what i have to do is just click on description and after that i can add a description right here while adding a description you actually get a lot of options for example you know the file type or the text type and the fonts so you will get a lot of options here so for now i'm just gonna add description and once the description is added what i have to do is context field the status for this task um, the status actually we get on ClickUp as well for example for a different list that I create I can actually add a status as well so if I click on more option I can actually add different status and you know duplicate the task if I want to similarly on Jira you get the option of status then of course assignee and labels I can actually you know add labels if I want to and I can create a label for my my task similarly on ClickUp I can add a label here as well and then on Jira you will get this option of reporter which is not available on ClickUp this is just simply if you want to add a reporter as well for example sometimes we're working in a team and we have a person who prepares the reports so that's good for them and after that once I'm done with that actually I can come here and add different fields as well for example the date label people checkbox paragraph show tax number and drop down so this option is pretty good the number and drop down uh, on click up you actually see the number right here for example this list has five tasks so you will see the number right here and the number for completed task will be shown here similarly on your i can actually you know number and i can give serial numbers to my task and that actually gives you a whole new idea to you know get organized and you get more access to each and every task precisely so after that i'm just going to click on save changes so once i click on save changes my task will be created so you see all of these different options above right here you will see an option of your work right here if a work is assigned to me I will be able to check it right here on ClickUp. What happens is you actually go to the view and if in the view, if you just click on my view, then you will be able to get this option where you only see the task you have. After that filter option where you can actually filter the task, that's pretty good. Then your all of your dashboards will be shown here. So on Jira, you get these options above your dashboard on ClickUp, you get these options right here you will see the option of dashboard documents and workspaces right here home notification and show more it's on the left side of the screen and right here it is above then people option of course if you want to invite a member you simply click on invite a teammate and add their email address if you want to start a new team you will just simply click on start a team and you will be able to create a team apps here you actually see all of your different apps that you have integrated into your jira similarly on clickup you can actually integrate different tasks as well then you get the option of calendar right here and on jira you also get the option of calendar right here and both of these platforms actually pretty good you can actually track time on clickup as well you can track time on jira as well 
you can see you can see the option of time tracking right here if you want to you know create a task and label it and have a, a deadline for the task you want to you know manage it according to a certain date according to your weekdays however your team works you can actually manage it right here on jira with all of these different options so when it comes to options both of these platforms actually give you a lot of options so me personally i would say that both of these platforms are pretty good ClickUp is cheaper than Jira. When it comes to creating a task, I like the view of Jira and you actually get a lot of options. Jira is actually beginners friendly, but you will actually have to learn. And similarly on ClickUp, it's super simple because I just created this board, uh, but there are a lot of things that you can do with ClickUp and it becomes a little difficult for you uh, to use ClickUp. But if you learn it, if you know how to use ClickUp, then I think ClickUp is more professional than Jira. And both of these platforms are actually pretty good and not that hard to use once you get along and you know you discover different features so you create tasks you have the option of time tracking you have the option of adding descriptions and managing your workspace in a very very safe and creative environment so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know that which of this platform is better for you to use for your project management uh, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel